Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. This is Boss Vision, where I share with you all everything you need to know about making candles. In today's video, I am so excited to be sharing with you all my experience at my first farmer's market. It's gonna be a specific story time in detail about everything that went right, everything that went wrong, everything that you can do in the future to prevent any mistakes and to make more sales. So if you do like videos like this, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe so you don't miss out anything else that I post. All right, let's just jump right into it. Hey guys, this is gonna be the most interesting story time on my channel. I really go into detail more about candle business tips and you know the boring stuff behind the scenes the grunt work that we got to take care of so today should be really fun unlike any other video i'm just giving you insight into what happened and what you should do but as you all know when you are looking for markets it could be one of the most challenging things to find because although this industry is not oversaturated there is a limited availability for candle vendors at events reason being is because the last Last thing they want to do is have two competing products at an event so one vendor is unhappy and they're less likely to return so they really try to focus on only having one candle vendor at each event what that means for us is we have a less likelihood of getting approved yes guys so I did run into that scenario often and who knew that crystal candles were such a prominent thing in my area I thought that I would be the only crystal candle owner who would be applying to these vendors but I was very wrong and I was I was alerted of that aggressively. <laughs> yes, guys, so I found out that the best way to find a market is to search for events in your area. So I was using Eventbrite, but I found out that Eventbrite is less likely to have availability because they put together all of their vendors beforehand because you know they wanna you know, basically sell the event there. So I found another site called Eventy. Found out that it's called Event -E Eventini. <laughs> That word's hard. <laughs> but yeah, this is the site that I found great success with actually locating events. So from here, you can see it says features, artists, vendors, and exhibitors. You are able to automate applications, picture submission. Essentially, this is the site that uh, event holders go to to get vendors. So it's super cool, I'm logged in now. So as you can see, I have applied for several events. If you just scroll down, you're able to search by event name, location, or month. So for me, I would just search for North Carolina in August and select go. And then from there, you can see they have pop-up markets that are super cool with live music and food trucks and local vendor. So as you can see, all of these events need people because they're on Eventini. So from there, you would just click on one and then you figure out how to apply. Super easy, you just apply right here. Just wanted to share a great example here. I don't know where you guys are located if you're even in you know, Texas. I think that would be a good example. I'm looking for an event in August. Oh, I wish I was in Texas. There is a spectacular black girl art show that you could apply to be at uh, as an exhibitor, and you apply right here. So cool, but this would just be for, um, yeah, candles. Clothing, crafts, and jewelry. You are crafts, you are candles. So you will be here at the black girl art show. Damn, that's lit. Okay, anyways, y'all, back to the video. Event T in my area works amazing because it's vendors or it's event planners who are trying to plan their events with vendors and they all need more vendors. So super exciting to use that site. I found four events from Event T, guys, and you know, four events, uh, for a candle owner, it's amazing. I found one uh, that was about 15 minutes away and it said that she needed vendors uh, email for more information. So I just emailed her and all I said was, uh, how do you apply to be a vendor? Because I just assumed the worst. Honestly, when it comes to these vendor events, often there is this lengthy application process with an application fee, pictures, they need to see your social media, the gambit of information so i just 
assume that. And she was like, what do you sell? I was like, candles. She was like, okay, sure. Like, <laughs> so easy, rare. This is not the normal process, guys. But I did find her on Eventy. So if you are struggling to find vendors, I'd say check out Eventy. It may help you as well. And with that, I did share my YouTube, my website, everything of that nature. She even wanted to learn how to make candles. So hey, girl, hey, if you're watching this, thank you so much for accepting me. So with that, I researched her event. Of course, this is number one. Before I even reached out to her, I researched her event. Super important to understand how much traffic she's getting, how much uh, competition will be there, and if it would make the most sense for you to do this event based upon their fees. So I did review her website. She went in detail about Literally, there's a tab saying why you would want to be a vendor here. So in terms of the benefits of being a vendor, you will augment your business income. What that means is you will get the opportunity to make fast sales. It's so rare in terms of being an entrepreneur to get fast sales. You really have to focus on marketing, getting your name out there, networking to actually get a good consistent amount of sales. So selling candles in person speeds that process up. Another great benefit is that you get to meet so many other small business owners. The networking piece is unlike any other because everyone there is doing the same thing. They're going after the same demographic. They're hoping for the best and making sure they put their best foot forward in terms of providing value. So you get to network with others and see if collaborations would make sense. You know, giveaway collaborations could be a possibility if you are at a vendor event and you see someone doing something similar to you. In terms of that, you could definitely focus on doing a giveaway where you call to action um, followers uh, and things of that nature. That's definitely something I really wish I would have done. Shout out to Princess. She told me to do that last year when I had a pop-up event in Texas. Follow me on Instagram. You'll be interested in the giveaway. I didn't do this this time, but I really wish I would have. And I hope that you guys watching this video will hear this and understand that it's super important to have that call to action to increase your followers on social media. Definitely in include an incentive of a giveaway of a free candle if they follow you and they'll be entered into that giveaway. So yeah, I hope you guys do implement that practice. So once I got there, the setup was super easy. Honestly, I came alone, very introverted, and I like to do everything on my own. Very I-N-D-E-P-E-N -E -E for some reason, y'all. Well, if you watch my vlogs, uh, candle business vlogs on this channel, I'll link them up here. But if you watch those, you know I do everything on my own. Just, it's like, I don't know, I just learned at a young age. If I don't really trust other people to do things right, so I just try to do them on my own. But that's something I'm working through, you know, through therapy right now to actually ask for help. Working through that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, with that, I came to the tent, I came to the event alone, knowing I needed help setting up my tent. Shout out to the event conductor, the person, you know, who was hosting the event. She helped me set up my tent, and then I met this amazing older man. I think his name was Robert. So sweet. So he had the strongest country accent. He was just like, hey, how can I help you? Like, it was so cute. He helped me with my tent, putting it together, breaking it down. So kind. And then I just wanted to mention that it's super important that you set up Square prior to. So if you have any kind of point of sale that you'd like to use to accept credit card payments, I highly recommend that you set it up before you get there. Honestly, if I'm being transparent, I set it up on the way. That is a mess. Don't do as I do, do as I say. So <laughs> set it up before you get in your car. Um, yeah, so the one I used was Square. It did help in terms of just being able to swipe cards. And I would also recommend bringing in cash. Honestly, you would need about $50 in change. So what that would mean is fives and ones. So I brought in $50 in change, fives and ones. That really helped me out. And then just in terms of the market, I was the only candle vendor there. I did look up. There was another crystal candle vendor who did not show up. So I was really fortunate to be the only candle vendor there. There were people selling juice. Uh, they were selling produce. They were selling just anything beyond candles. They were selling all of the fresh vegetables, corn, collards. I remember the, um, the man that I was sitting beside, he was like, well, if I'm being out, this is stereotypical, guys. Don't kill me in the comments. I know how y'all like to tussle. Um, but he said, white people like kale and black people like collards. <laughs> so he said, that's what you just have to have something for everyone. And I love that. <laughs> 
so it was so friendly i'll be honest with you guys once i got in there it was at the event was from 8 a.m until 1 p.m or 8 a.m until 12 p.m and once i got there i'll be honest guys it was very stressful because I loaded, finally got everything done by 8 a.m. Perfect. Two ladies came by at 7.50 while I was still setting up. And they're like, ooh, candles. I'm like, oh my God, 7.50 a.m. on a Saturday. These two women are running and they're like trying to check out my candles. I was so overwhelmed and happy. I was like, this might be a good event. I'm so excited, right? They said they were gonna come back and buy some candles, right? So then 8 a.m. starts and I'm looking around. I'm like, everybody's selling food. The guy beside me, he is booming, business booming. They know him. They come get the corn from him. He's selling corn for a dollar, crawlets for a dollar. Of course, he is jumping like Jordan right there. Now that I think about it, I need to start going to the farmer's market for fresh produce because very good cost. It's just very important to include the cost of tax into the cost of your candles. If not, I would highly recommend that if you're using a method of payment, such as a POS, you know, a square or something like that, make sure you check off the tax exclusion, okay? So that means that people will have to pay tax per you know sale because the last thing you want to do is be selling candles at your pricing you know for instance this candle is 35 dollars if you're just taking 35 dollars from people there's a problem here lies a problem okay the problem is that you need to be you know charging tax this is reset guys link in the description it is teach free oil citrus and sage it's red calcite rutilated quartz abundance abundance reset get your money Link in the description. If you use the code YouTube, you will get 20% off. Okay, free promo, self promo, but anyways. Uh, yeah, so another thing that I would recommend you all do uh, is to bring in some sort of treat or snack or incentive for people to visit your table. So I thought of gummy bears. So I was at the office, I was at Staples trying to purchase a business card holder and I found out that they also offered a, um, a big, huge, mega thing of gummy bears. Gummy bears in terms of this huge package here. So I brought these and on my table they were a hit. So at farmer's markets, often people bring in their children. Um, they're doing a nice walking stroll. So it was so cool for me to see how many kids showed up and how many kids were screaming and the kids are screaming while their parents are trying to look at the candles. I'm like, here's some gummy bears if they're if they are allowed. And most parents in, in terms of 2022, they don't really care about the health anymore. It's like, whatever, make them shut up. So gummy bears, they're eating gummy bears quiet. I'm not saying that they're enjoying their gummy bears. They're also bringing hand sanitizer with our COVID outbreak, everything of that nature. All these people are grabbing your candles to hold them. It's important to have sanitizer to disinfect those. And you need gift bags, definitely important. I brought gift bags that I got off Amazon, 100 pack for a very cost effective uh, price point. I'll be doing a full video on everything that I brought to the event, but really in this one, I just wanted to focus on my experience and how it went. So honestly, within the first hour from 8 a.m. to 9, zero sales. I felt so weird. I was like, I don't think I'm gonna make any sales. I'm looking around at everybody. The vendor owner's looking at me. We looking at each other like, girl, this is probably a good, bad idea. Ain't nobody really messing with this. I was standing up for a while, I decided to sit down and edit. <laughs> Saturdays are editing days. So I was like, let me get some editing in while I'm here making no sales. And then people started to come up. Let me tell you why people started to come up. Shout out to the guy next to me he made his daughter his daughter came in beautiful successful paralegal she came in um and he made her make a purchase so she's standing at my table for a good 10 minutes and my idea is that while people are walking around they see someone standing at your table subconsciously it's like okay what does she have why are they standing there so people came after that sale after the first sale from his daughter which was so sweet um people began to walk up to my table like i was getting families to come up honestly because this is a real channel i'll tell y'all the truth i mean the black support was overwhelming like I am so grateful for every person who made a purchase, but in terms of how many people who decided to come to my table that were black, it's just crazy. They don't even care. Like I was getting, the cops came, it was three black cops that came up to my table. 
they don't even really care what you're saying they're just like how much do i pay how do i support you like i don't care what it is i'm gonna buy it because you're black it's just the black support is crazy like and i now like i just want to do the same i want to reciprocate that i want to go to a black event and go buy stuff the way that people bought from me it was the energy was up the energy the the, the culture was like the vibe one girl like i was like um so clarity is really popular in terms of my candles the lemon lemon apple cider scent Clarity's really popular. She was like, I want all three. I'm like, Perry, she just bought three crystal candles, which y'all know, crystal candles are higher. She bought all of them. She's like, I want all three. I had to give her two bags, it was so heavy, I had to give it to her. And then there was another lady who bought three candles. She bought some of my um, sweet candles and a crystal candle. Uh, I got a lot of sales just in terms of after 9 a.m., from 9 to 12, I got, it was a domino effect. I got so many people coming to my table, talking to me. What I found out is that you have to take a step back in terms of your business. If you don't have a problem to solve, you don't have nothing to talk about in the market. So for me, I'm so grateful that I do have a problem to solve in terms of crystal candles that focus on healing, abundance, manifesting, putting you in the right perspective and the right intentions for your next week, your day. I'll say this in every video. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day, your week, your next hour, live in your purpose and love life. My candles help you live in your purpose and love life, okay? And this is a conversational piece in terms of selling a product. So you definitely have to have something that you feel confident enough to have a conversation about in order to encourage a call to action because I was encouraging people and telling them more about how they can change their perspective while we're talking at my table and at that point they didn't even ask me the price for certain things they're just like I want this one and this one and this one here's my card they like price doesn't even matter if you make people feel good okay so when you have your next event event I would definitely say focus on making people feel good okay super important so in terms of sales, I would say I got, I can look it up because my square is connected to my web poster. So every sale will be paid out via my web hosting rather than um, a separate third party. They do take like a few cents per fee, per um, processing fee, which is fine. Um, and the people who paid in cash, shout out to them. Uh, everybody was so kind honestly I wasn't very uh, prepared when it came to like being patient so I would say definitely be patient but then stand in front of your table in the first hour so on your first hour I would recommend to stand in front of your table because if you're behind it uh, you're less likely to get people to come up so I would say start in front and just put your best foot forward and then go back to the back once a lot of people have walked up and you've built up some sort of momentum because I was behind my table sitting sort of hiding and that's probably why I didn't get a lot of traffic during that first hour but within hours two and three oh my gosh like it was so many people walking up some people wouldn't buy like this one lady she was not from America she just kept going mm -mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. and it's just so funny but you really just have to take it all tongue-in-cheek take it all like it is what it is it doesn't really matter because your main focus is on the fact that every no leads you in the direction of a yes and then it's the opportunity for you to work on your sales strategy every time my strategy every time is to build a connection. If I can make you laugh, if I can make you feel comfortable, I know we're gonna have a sale, okay? <laughs> so I'd highly recommend you make that connection with people, confidently speak to the problem you're solving, and encourage them to follow you on your social media as an incentive with a giveaway. So if they do follow you, they will be entered into the giveaway. Overall, I loved my experience. I really, oh, and I met this amazing man who hosts the Black Farmers market let me tell you like I was sitting down at my at my um booth during the first hour feeling discouraged like I'm not making no sales I'm not about to care about your girl this is what I was thinking but then he like he was waving at me from the table and I'm just like why is he waving at me honestly because I'm I'm an attractive female, I assume, is he waving at me because he wants to talk to me? Don't talk to me right now. I'm discouraged. I need to focus. But then he was like, then he came up to me. And he was like, um, really, I see you. I see you. Black businesses, you need to check out the black farmer's market. That's where you would really get more sales. And then this man in Jesus' name, he had his own booth too. But his, he had his wife, obviously, there, who was 
man in the booth while he was walking around doing stuff uh, or buying stuff if his people he knew were walking by he was telling them to come to my table so that was beautiful you really gotta you really gotta network at these events you never know so this event is weekly um she wanted me to come back every week to do this event i i don't think i'm about that life but it's so great like the vendor fee is 35 dollars and you get to make so many sales the event owner she had her daughter buy a candle and she bought a candle like it was so sweet like i feel so grateful to have been at the event i'm really considering this weekly but just weekly to me it just seems like a lot like just weekly just, every week i mean i would but i just need someone to help me with the tent so i've been getting a lot of positive comments from the vlog if you haven't seen the vlog already i would say just click the link in the description it'll also be in the cards right here very grateful for that experience. Definitely go watch my vlog. Comment below uh, if any of this was helpful. Definitely give this video a thumbs up, guys, and subscribe. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. So YouTube's algorithm favors if you give it a thumbs up. So please help your girl out and give it a thumbs up. Okay, we are on the road to 100K, almost at 20K right now. We can do this if y'all support your girl. All right, I hope y'all enjoy the rest of your day, your week, your next hour, your next 2022. Let's